Hi, Box here. I'm over at a, a DJI, and they've got a really cool little gimbal here for your for your phone. Yeah. How does this work? Yeah. So I'm Matthew from Intelligent US. We're one of the dealers here from DJI. Uh, but this is the new handheld gimbal that holds the Inspire camera. Um, and it has a 70 minute runtime. So I'm going to go over some of the cool features that it has. So okay. first of all, like I said, the Inspire camera comes with your Inspire One. But if you want to get a handheld feature, this this guy can help you out. And you can detach it from the copter and then attach it to this handheld gimbal. And then once you have that, you have access on the back here to all these different buttons. So you can start and stop recording. You can, you can change it to photo mode. You can also change the modes of which way that the camera operates. So right now, we have it in mode one. And you can see the camera follows me as I go. But if I throw it in mode two and I point it towards, towards the camera, so here's the follow and then here's mode two. As I spin, the camera stays perfectly still. If we oh. get this back up, I don't know. How do you get it to rotate then? <laughs> you can't get it to rotate, so there's no like thumb until you, lever until you change the mode, right? Right. So like if you want to look on the back here, we're on the back and I'm moving it at, around and everything. So uh, it, there's very little movement, so it's pretty cool. Oh, that is nice. Um, another feature is that through the phone, we're going to throw it back into mode one, you can start and stop the video using the re red record button. You can also come in and change the settings. So I can go ahead oh. and change it to 4K. So you're so saying, this is 4K. This is 4K. So so this is from the Inspire One. Yes. Yeah, so oh, okay. In the Inspire One, your micro SD card is located in the camera. So pretty much what this is is oh. like an interface. So it's telling you to start and stop its 4K recording, but it's not going here in the card. The card's still located in the same camera. That you just took off your Inspire. So how much is the is the, the gimbal? The price point hasn't come out yet, as well as the shipping date, since this is the unveiling at CES. Uh, but with all DJI products, within a couple months, you're going to see something. And what they're going to do is get their Inspires out, get the cameras out. And once that gets out, we're going to start giving out the handheld gimbals and stuff. So the so. Inspires, the, the, the 4K drone, right? Yeah, it's their new drone, everything that just came out recently. It, it just started shipping last week. Are you going to ship the camera separate then? For people so what they're going to do is they're going to ship it as a separate thing, but in the future, ship it as one item. So that oh, okay. way you don't have to have the Inspire one with its camera to have a gimbal. You can buy this as a separate package in the right. future. Uh, how much is the Inspire one? The Inspire <laughs> runs runs twenty eight ninety nine for a single operator. For a dual operator, so you can get a second operator to operate the camera. It comes in around thirty two ninety nine. Oh, and one okay. other cool feature I forgot to mention in the future: there's going to be a mic input on here, so you can actually go in the front here and hook oh, a mic. Nice. And this is a prototype unit, so we don't have it in. But in future upgrades, it'll have a mic input, so you can so have better it, is audio. Is this a Bluetooth that's got a connector or is it's it Wi-Fi? Wi it's through Wi-Fi. It's through Wi-Fi, okay. Yeah, and so you just go to, like, on right now we have iPhone. We go to the settings and just find the iOS settings for the, it's called iOS. Right now, this one's handheld. And you just hook up to that through Wi-Fi, and you got your signal right on your iPhone. What is the bit rate that it stores the video at on the camera? I'm not sure on that, since we are just getting this product, for the seeing this product first time yesterday. But um, I imagine that with photo-wise, I know it's 12 megapixels, a DNG RAW. It's the same thing as the Inspire 1. This is just providing a different interface and a power source to operate the gimbal and its motors. Oh, okay. So, but, All right, thank you, Matthew. Cool, no problem. <laughs> this has been a Two Smart Guys production.